Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, if you saw in the last video, Jimmy and I installed these Brodix IK200 cylinder heads on Todd's 388 cubic inch small block Chevy Stroker for Project Fast Times. This is part of our engine build series and going step by step, showing you guys how to assemble an engine. Now this one's a little bit more complicated per se than something that's just bone stock. Um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you actually how to measure for push rods. As you see here, Jimmy's already gotten stuff installed on here as far as the Scorpion rockers and some of the push rods and all that. It's just set into place. We've already done some measuring and all that and saved some time he got these put into place. But what we're gonna do today is show two methods on how you can actually measure for your push rods. While that's important is one reason. When you start going with aftermarket aluminum heads, aftermarket rockers, springs, lifters, cam, and all that, majority of the time your push rods are not going to be factory length. Um, so you really do need to measure for those. There's two actually simple methods on doing it. Uh, one method involves actually using a push rod checker tool here, and I'll show you how to use this in a little bit. This is made for the small block Chevy head, and I got this one on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And the other thing you're going to need here is a, an actual push rod length checker. This thing is actually adjustable with a screw here. This happens to be Competition Cam 7901 uh, push rod length tool. We'll show you how to use that here in a little bit also. Other thing you're going to need is obviously your rockers. Um, you don't have to have your push rods. However, we do have them in anyway because, like I said, we've already done some measuring. Um, but you're going to need your rockers. You're going to need that tool here, and you're going to need um, a long caliper to do some measuring. So with that, I've been rambling. Let's get a video on this on how to measure for push rod length. See you in a few. All right, so the first step of this process is you're actually going to put your lifters that you're using in the lifter bores. Now, mind you, in some engines, you can see down in there um, where these are hitting. So what you have to do is make sure that your lifter actually hits on the base circle at the bottom of the cam. And the way you can do that with a small block Chevy is if you look here, if you watch them, they're moving up and down, right? Keep going away. So going. what you're gonna do is you're gonna go until it stops Keep moving. Keep going. And it's not gonna come back up. Keep going. There you go. You're okay. The bottom. So right now we're on the base circle of the cam. That's all the way down. Now we're going to check two different methods and we're going to check both intake and exhaust. The reason that's important, on some cams you have different lifts for intake and exhaust and on some heads you have a different configuration on how, like a Ford, like how your rocker studs are mounted. This one is going to be the same. There's reasons why, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you. So the first step we're going to do is, one, I'm going to take the push rod checker tool, run that down just a little bit. Now mind you, that is from comp cams, and I'm gonna slide it through the guide plate down, and I'm gonna put it into the lifter. This here, Jimmy, it, it is gonna hold into place. It just goes right over the rocker stud. And what I'm gonna do, let me zoom in just a little here, bit here. classic example. If it has to be held down tight against the valve because watch the tip of it here when I do that. See, it flips up. Yep. You could get an erroneous reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning the bottom of this push rod checker tool until the ball hits the tool. Now this ball is what actually goes into the rocker here. So I'm just going to hold it into place and I'm turning that on the bottom or you can turn it on the top. So if you watch, what I'm doing here is I'm just turning it until it touches. Back it off a little, one up. Okay. There you go. Just where you just barely feel a drag on it. So right there. Now, the next step of this is, is what Jimmy's going to do, he's going to pull that off. Normally we do this on a vise, but this is where you need your extra long calipers. And you're going to take a measurement of that length. Get that in. Yep. Okay, this is seven inch, seven hundred and sixty or eighty four thousandths. So the closest 
push rods that we could get without having to have them special made with 7750. So, which would be close enough, providing you do the visual check where the ball, the roller on the rocker stays primarily in the middle of the valve in the down position. Then you check it with the open position, make sure it doesn't ride too far off um, the back of it. So Jimmy made a good point there on push rod length. You can have them custom made that's extremely expensive. We found the closest one that we could find and it was through Howard's. Uh, competition products sent, it, sent them to us and it's 77500. That little bit of difference isn't going to make a hill of beans when it comes to a hydraulic flat tap at street strip car. Um, if you're going out full out race, that's where you're going to need to know. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to we're going to check it the other way. I need to put this one in, Jimmy, real quick. How are you going to check it this way? I'll show you. So how we did my Ford. So here's one way you can check using a, a rocker arm that you got from your kit. Now that's up. That's up, but I got to turn it down. So if you look now, right here, the... The rocker or the hydraulic lifter is in the up position. So we're going to go check the other valve, and this one happens to be the exhaust valve until that's all the way down again. Jimmy's holding that with pressure. Keep going. The other way it's coming up. Keep going. There. Okay, so now it's all the way down. Now I got to reposition my camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look here, you look at the actual roller tip that is on the actual rocker arm, and you see it on top of the valve right there. So what you want to do is you want to get that centered. If I can get that zoomed in. You want to get that centered on there, or as close to center as possible, and then you're going to do the same thing with this. You're going to run that up to center that, and then you're going to measure that again. We've already done that. It came out to be the same. So yeah, that's one way you can do it with using a rocker and your adjustment tool. Center your rocker as much as you can on the actual valve stem. You run your tool just like we showed you using the actual push rod checker tool, the plastic one, and you'll do your measurement like that. That's how you can actually get that measurement. And like I said, we've already done it and they came out to be the same way. So there's two methods to check your push rod length. Um, like I said, you're going to want to do it on intake and exhaust. And the reason being is because some of these have a different configuration on the rocker studs. And sometimes the cam lift is different, like my big block Ford was. So you just want to make sure you get the right push rod lengths for your intake and exhaust. So yeah, very easy to check actual push rod length on these. Not hard at all. Like I said, we had already got our products from Competition Product. They're Howard's manufactured push rod, better than stock, somewhat they're high cool. performance. They're chrome molly. They're chrome molly, 060 wall, oil through. You know what, guys? Very simple. So our next step is what we're going to do is we're actually going to adjust these. With that, guys, see you tomorrow.